<laughs> I for any time. Uh, it's shit. Any time. Lord God, I've said that like the last three. I don't know. I got time on my mind, I guess. For anyone this first time of year, my name's Heather. And I just get on here and blog or whatever. Talk about my life. Blog, vlog. I don't know if vlog's a word because, hell, apparently it's not for as far as Facebook. But I thought it was. <coughs> just burped. Excuse me. I only took like one bite of food right now. And I just woke up a few hours ago. But... I've been sitting here on my Facebook, and I promise I'm in a good mood, even though I've been crying because I'm just going through a lot, like, happy, emotional, but then not, and just everything, and I battle depression, so there you go, but, uh, I got up and woke up and was in a good mood and was really motivated, and I, um, cleaned my cat's litter boxes, and I got to thinking about how one of my cats, oh shit, that's right. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Come on, in, in girls. Come on, in, get in. Move your ass, damn. Sorry, just had to check because I forgot I left one of my cats sitting out on the porch, but he's still sitting there. He's just enjoying himself and giving himself a bath in my chair. But, um, and obviously I'm not taking a shower, so that's another thing that, like, and yes, yes, it says the, the school that I went to or whatever. And so, whatever. But, um, that's the school that I went to. And so anyways, um, stay on, uh, cause I, I've worried about that. I'm like, oh, don't wear this shirt. Oh, people, oh, you know, and then fucking YouTube even put up, you know, about somebody getting robbed or something like that. And I was like, really? At this time, at this moment, like, I was like, fuck you, devil, you know, get behind me, if you will, you know, but, um. Anyways, uh, dang on, uh, just, fuck, I just distracted the hell out of myself worrying about my damn cat. Okay, I got on Facebook, there we go. I got on my Facebook, and I only have like 60 friends probably on my Facebook, and that is because I am trying to be selective, and we all need to be selective. And if you respect yourself, and you respect, you know, your soul, and your soul's purpose, then you are selective. And there's nothing wrong with being selective. And maybe I shouldn't take such offense to the girl that I fell in love with being selective that biblically, you know, she's all about the biblical of, you know, like man and woman together and or she claims she is or she stick. I don't know. I, that's just a whole nother fucking can of worms right there. I am religious. I do believe in God. I've tried to make it work with men. It has not worked with men. So, yes, I've given up on men. And love is love, you know. And you're going to sin come hell or high water in this life. And so I thought to myself, because I really... I don't want to get into this because I don't want to cry about this. But uh, I just really like this girl. And... So, I offered myself up, I guess you'd say, and was like, I'll be with you, you know, if you want to try. But, uh, sorry, but, uh. Anyways, so I got on my Facebook today, or I woke up like in a motivated mood. I uh, changed my cat's litter boxes um, and cleaned a little bit. And I was like, you know what? My kid's not here for her to dictate how I need to clean my apartment. And I was like, I'm moving out of my apartment in August because I hate my landlord. I mean, it's the best way to put it, even though I don't really hate her. I just... You, there's what is it there was this one guy that i watched a video of and he's like 
I can be civil to you, you know, and everything. Or I can treat you, you know, the way you treat me type stuff. And that's another thing, too. My landlord has not treated me the best. She's made very obvious to me, in front of me, side comments. And there's no sense in that. And so I don't want to live here anymore. And I would honestly rather have to give my pets to my family and go stay in a homeless shelter than to live here anymore because that's how bad it's been because this makes my fourth year and that is how bad that woman has made me feel and yes it's a woman but still that's how bad she's made me feel that I don't, I don't want to live here anymore I, I, I respect myself enough to choose not living here anymore when my lease is up and I'm trying to even make sure that I'm able to serve out my lease because I quit my job about a month ago and I don't know if I can even stomach going back to it because it's very disrespectful and you don't need to do things that disrespect yourself and so on and so forth but I, I was looking at my house this morning and I was like you know what, this don't respect me, that don't respect me, I did this to make it easier for my kid, to make it to where my kid could be less responsible and stuff like that, um, we have two cats, one of our cats, um, and that's another thing too, respectfully, in all honesty, if I was just to full on respect myself, and be selfish, I guess you'd say, then I would say, I don't want any of these fucking pets that I got, and let me get rid of every damn one of them, that's if I was selfish, but I'm not selfish. And I respect that they are living beings. And I respect that they love me. And that they expect for me to be responsible for them and take care of them and provide for them. Sorry, I just gotta fix my hair. It's like really getting on my fucking nerves. So you might not see me here for a second. But, um... So anyways, I thought about that, and the issue is, especially because when we moved in here, we had two dogs and one cat, and that was a lot. That was a lot, and it was hard to do, and it was hard to take care of, but we managed, and then we got so good at managing it, in all honesty, because it wasn't just, you know, let's figure out a way to take care of the pets around somebody else living with us because we used to live with my grandmother and so we had to figure out a way to tiptoe around her life and her wants and her needs to the best of our abilities and yet still provide a loving home for our pets so when we moved in here after god just like a year of living here we was like we got this we got this shit we had a routine, everything was good, everything was set, we helped each other, we both walked our dogs, you know, we both changed the cat's litter box, you know, now granted my child did more because she's the one that really pushed and wanted for the pets, but we helped and we got it done and we had a routine and everything was good and everything was great. So then my kid begged for another pet. And... Another reason, too, is because actually we had four pets when we um, were in the process of knowing we were going to be moving out, and that was months before we actually had the money to move out of my grandmother's, and we had a hamster named Zeke, and he died, and so whenever we moved in, I promised my daughter that, you know, we'd get another hamster or something like that, something small, and we got a gerbil, and the gerbil died because our shitty neighbor put in one of those things that, like, um, it drives mice and rodents insane, and so it drove our gerbil insane, and she literally died of a heart attack trying to run away from it in the house, and we didn't find out that the neighbor had that, of course, until after the gerbil had died, and the thing is, is the woman knew before she bought that, that we were getting a pet gerbil. Because she said to me, oh, 
I hate anything like that. I can't stand stuff like that. And I said, well, luckily, we're only going to get one. It's not like we're going to breed them or anything, you know. And I tried to tell her, you know, that gerbils are not rodents like rats. And then even at that, I've seen people have pet rats. And I don't have a problem with them if they're a pet. And you don't let them breed out of control. And you don't even actually just, you just don't breed them. I mean, that's the smartest thing to do, in all honesty, with any animal. Because there's more animals than it is pitiful. But, anyways, um, so, after that, uh, my kid was always pushing for another animal. And I was like, I don't know, I don't know, I'll think about it. And she's had pet turtles before. The little ones, you know, that, you know, take them like 10 years to, you know, grow a halfway decent size and shit like that aquatic you know and all this and just everything and we've had fish tanks and we actually took the neighbor's fish but hell they died with because we had a neighbor that moved out and the fish died within like a day or two like it just didn't make it it didn't thrive it didn't survive and then I've never had good luck with fish anyways because we've always had the littlest, tiniest aquariums. We've never had the big, decent one that has the filter, and I can't afford to keep up, you know. And it was hell to clean the little ones, so I don't even want to imagine about cleaning the bigger ones. I just can't do fish, I guess. Like, I can't. Like, I can try. We even had an albino frog. Like, I just, you know, I can't. But, um, and I cried when he died because I loved him because we had him for a while. But, um, hell, I, I'm just a big old sap. But, anyways, my kid always wanted another pet. And since I can't find a man to build my life with for me to have a, another kid, if you will, for my child to ever have any siblings, and my child's childhood is practically fucking gone, um, I was like, yeah, you know, we'll see if we can do another pet. And so she wanted a bird. And I was like, no, not a bird, you know. And I don't know if you're responsible enough for a bird and stuff like that. Well, then my parents had a cat. And this cat is blind in one eye. Or not blind. He has one eye gone. It's just gone. He had surgery, had it removed. It's sewn shut, you know, nothing there. His other eye, he's almost completely got, like blind in it. Like it's just covered with cataracts I guess you'd say and he can see shadows but that's it and that's about like um it reminds me of a family member that I had that um they had a car wreck and they went blind but they could see shadows but that was it and uh but anyways so my parents took this kitten in they took his brother in first, and his brother was too far gone, and they put him to sleep. And my dad's the one that found it out where he worked. So then they took an, this other cat in, and they found out that one of his eyes was too far gone, and they named him Tiger. And then about a year and a half later, they uh, my mom got sick, and my mom was in the hospital trying to uh, figure out what was wrong with her. We all thought she was going to die because they just kept saying she has infection, she has infection, we don't know where it's coming from. It took them forever to find out it was her gallbladder because her gallbladder was so enlarged that when they did the ultrasound, they couldn't even see her gallbladder because it was so large. <sighs> While she was in the hospital, my dad tortured this cat is the best way to put it. And he took the cat. A week before my mom got out of the hospital, I believe it was, or sometime before she got out. And he took it back to the plant where he worked and where he found it originally. And he just threw him out. And my kid found out about it. And my kid cried and cried and cried and cried. Three hours later, I'm on the phone with my grandmother telling my grandmother to call my dad because that's her son and she's the only one that can tell him what to do. Tell him to come pick me and her up and drop us off out there at the plant. And when we find the cat, we'll call him and we'll take the cat and we'll take him to our home and we'll take care of him. Because that's just wrong. So that's what we go to do. 
but my dad stays and my dad helps us find him. And when we find him, he is in a drainage ditch sitting there just crying. Just crying. And I'm so glad that we went and got him because he would have died. And I love the little fella. I brought him home. I took him to the vet. I got him fixed. I got his rabies shot. And also around this time, there's a stray dog just wandering up and down the road. And my kid begs because he's been up and down the road for three and four days straight. And he acts like he's lost and confused. So we take him in on the porch because he's a male and I have females. And my females are not fixed even though they have not had puppies. And I keep them in and I watch them and I make sure that they don't breed. Because that's how we got stuck with the second dog, and I'm grateful for her. I'm not, I don't even want to say stuck with her, but because our first dog, female, got pregnant when she was a year old because she got loose. And so now we keep a definite eye on these girls. And so this other dog was a male dog, so we got him fixed at the same time we got the cat fixed. And then my kid begged for him to stay. He's fixed now. He can't get the dogs pregnant. The girls, you know, please, please, please. And he's nice. And he, and he was. And he was precious. And so we kept him. And we named him Bonza. And now he's missing. And my kid's gone. Because my parents took custody of her. But anyway, so today I get on my Facebook I just, I'm just so random because I've been through so much shit and I've not vented enough about it because I've not cried about it because I have nobody to cry on about the shit and it's just frustrating is the best way to word it. But um, so, anyways, I get on my Facebook and I have 60 friends on it or maybe 60, and I just wrote this long ass post and was like, you know. If you can't be my friend, then don't be, you know, and like friendships go both ways. And that's the thing with any type of human relations or any type of relations, period. It don't even have to be human. That's just like I said, you know, oh, if I do what I want to do, yeah, I'm getting rid of the dogs and I'm just going to be some selfish asshole and I'm going to get rid of the cats and be some selfish asshole because fuck them. Fuck that I was the first face that they kind of seen, you know, for the most part on a regular basis past their mama, you know, being born, you know. Fuck that shit. I'm going to do me. I'm doing me. I have I have allergies. I'm allergic to dogs. I'm allergic to cats, and I legitimately am. Fuck that. I'm going to do me. I'm going to take care of me. Fuck them. No, it's a relationship. Come here, baby. I said that, and she looked at me like, yes, mommy. It's a relationship. It goes both ways. It goes both ways. It takes two to make a relationship and two to break a relationship. And that goes for any type of relationship. And that goes for people as well. And... We have got in this selfish, wrapped up world of, no, you did this wrong to me. No, you did that wrong to me. And blaming each other and not realizing that it only takes the two of you to make the relationship work. And if you're not going to put in the effort to make the relationship work, then it's not going to work. That's kind of a little bit of what happened between me and my kid. My kid didn't put in any work emotionally in mine and hers relationship because she was emotionally drained because I was emotionally drained and or bombarded is the best word in all honesty. And so was she with school and friends and everything else and getting made fun of or having a mom that couldn't drive her and not having a dad and everything else. And so she was breaking under the pressure and so was I. And we were stressed out. And so now I have a chance to get my shit together 
I guess is the best way to word it, but I need help and I need good people and I need people that believe in relationships. And I need people that are responsible. I need people that are going to respect me and then I'm going to respect them. Respect goes both ways. This dog is so gentle. And I have people that tell me that they're scared of her. And granted, some people are scared of dogs. If you're scared of dogs, we're not going to get along. I love you. What is it? I'm going to end this video here in just a second because I'm going to make it short. But pretty much, get down, get down. Plus, I'm hungry. And really, that's all you care about, don't you? Now you're beating my foot with your tail. Get down, please. But relationships just go both ways. And so I got on my Facebook and wrote that and told people to like it if they read it and if not then I'll probably then I am I'm not prob there's no probably to it I'm leaving it up for a week if people don't like it then that's a message for me to unfriend them and so I know one friend I have at least as of right now one person that liked it so but I'm not into this fake shit and I know a lot of people say that they aren't, but a lot of people are scared or intimidated or whatever to do the work, to put in the effort, and I get it. I really do. I get being scared. Oh, God, do I? But at the same time, you that you were scared. You have to admit your faults to whoever the other side is. You have to be able to be honest and talk to each other. And if you can't do that, then I just, I don't know. But that's the way I'm doing my life. And so if anybody sees this and they don't respect that or they think something bad of me, and they're entitled to that. They really are. But just stay away. I'm going to end this video here. If you like my videos, if you want to follow my channel, or if you just want to talk, you can comment, share, you can like to show me some love, and you can subscribe. I'll catch you later.